holding signs and standing together. These people have a clear message for Syracuse Common Councilors. Something got to take place. So I'm asking the people that, that have the power to do this, to change this law and, and you know, and, and really, um, you know, comb through it, you know, comb through it because people do change. For Brian Johnson, this is all very personal. He was convicted of a crime and it's carried with him all these years. I was a different person when I was young. I was immature um, and didn't, couldn't see the, the devastating the things that I got into with where it would take me. It took me some places that I want, would want to be. Since then, he's turned himself around and he wants other convicts to have the same chance. He's calling on lawmakers to vote for the ban the box legislation. It would remove any questions about criminal history from job applications for those looking to work for or contract with the city. And while lawmakers made minor changes to the proposed law today, they still need time to review it. Which is not a bad thing because, uh, you know, I think it gives us the opportunity to hold the committee meeting as requested by one of the counselors to kind of clear the air, find out where everybody is, and, and, and certainly with my intent to get it done and over with. For now, people like Brian Johnson will wait to see whether their criminal past will follow them into the future. Reporting in Syracuse, I'm Sarah Thackerman.